I, I've said that I was really interested in the night in this book because I suddenly found myself up in the middle of the night because mm -hmm. I had a baby. And I normally, you know, went to bed early, got up early, and I started to see this whole world, like different things on the television and the lights on in the neighborhood. And what, what is that person doing up? It's three in the morning. You know, they don't have a baby. Um, and just being really intrigued that there is this whole world that goes on um, and how fun it would be to kind of explore that with somebody who knew it well and was mm -hmm. wanting to show you around. I found that I agreed with um, your statement and along for the ride that like sometimes the night feels like the day like never ends, like the day meshes in with the night and just anything's possible, you know, you'll get that feeling that this could go on forever. Right. And I'm a night person. Right. So <laughs> I think that's probably wise because I get that feeling where you know, anything's possible. <laughs> right. And I liked, I think, building a relationship the way that Auden and Eli do strictly at night. It, it allowed them to get closer faster. I think it's like Auden says, you know, they're, they're, it's just different. You say things you wouldn't say. You do things you might not do otherwise. It's just sort of a lot of the, the fallacy is sort of removed and it's just the two of you. And there are just less people around. So it, it sort of allows you to be a different person. And it was kind of too like the social constraints just melted away because there yeah. were no social constraints. Right, right. There were very few people around outside of the few strange shoppers at night. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime I can find something really unique that I haven't done before, I'm, I'm right on them. Well, I think it's interesting too how Auden's reasons for being up at night change over the course of the book. How initially she's up at night because she doesn't want her parents to fight and she thinks if she'll, she stays up and they know she's listening that she'll help save their marriage and then eventually she becomes you know, nocturnal because of her relationship with Eli and she wants to be with him at night and explore that relationship and so she looks forward to being up at night and it's no longer, you know, this stressful chore for her right. to stay up. She doesn't has... have to figure out what to do with all of those hours. Right, right. exactly. Yeah. Even though she's not really doing anything, they just sort of wander around aimlessly. Right. Right. <laughs> there seems to be a point to it, you know, they they don't care that that's what they're doing, that they're just sort of meandering around. They. They're enjoying each other's company and exploring their relationship. Eating pie. Eating pie. pie. <laughs> There's a lot of drinking. There was so much more coffee drinking in the original draft of this book, and my editor was like, you must take out some of this coffee. <laughs> Nobody could drink this much coffee and be alive. It's crazy. So I really had to cut, because I was drinking a lot of coffee. I was tired. So I think that that sort of made it its way into it. But um, yeah, just sort of driving around, eating pie and drinking coffee and doing the grocery shopping in the middle of the night. It's not a bad life. I like oh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like their um, Auden's quest because I feel like sometimes I've missed out on certain things when I, you know, when I was little. I mean, I'm still not <laughs> where I'm missing out on everything, but I felt like I've missed out on a few things. So I like that quest, the redo, just right. like the prom. The do-over. And I think, yeah. I like to think that it's never too late to make up for stuff because I know there's things that I didn't do out of fear or worry or just not enough time. And I like to think it's never too late to do some things. Um, I don't know, maybe it is, but uh, <laughs> it's always hopeful. I mean, I, I know how to ride a bike, so I can check that off my list. I really liked the list of things that they thought was important to do. Like, it is important to have a food fight. Right. I mean, it's fun, but it's sort of like an important moment right. to like throw hot dogs at each other. But it's also important to go to a club, even if you don't like to dance. Right. You, you just need to know that it's not always what it looks like on TV and that people actually do this and enjoy it. And of course, everyone has to go bowling. Like, right. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> How can you not be ever have bowled in your life? Like that's well. One thing that um, a lot of this came from too was, I was saying before when I taught at UNC that I was gradually seeing my students get more and more and more serious. And um, at the end of the spring semester, I would always tell my students on the first day, you know, if we get everything done early enough, we're, we're going to play kickball on the last day of class. And I would bring my kickball, and I would bring like little Debbie snacks, and we would all get all the sugar in us and play kickball, and it was great. But the last year that I was teaching, um, one of the classes didn't want to play kickball. They just didn't. They're like, well, we're just really busy with exams, and if we're going to have like a whole day, like we would rather go study. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, just, I was like, what is wrong with the youth of America? What is wrong with you people? And they were just so stressed about exams, and they, they just didn't want to even take 40 minutes to play kickball. And I just was, I was like, I'm not going to make kickball mandatory. That's just sad, <laughs> you know? No, we didn't do it. But, um, but that's sort of, and, and that's why I put the kickball game into this book, because I, to me, kickball is, 
you got to take time for kickball, you know, whether you're an adult or a child. I think it's 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 just it really to me. We used to have huge kickball games in the evenings before dinner, and so that that just really spoke to me.